welcome back to my channel it's Anna Lady, and today i'm back with another video and today's video is gonna be a story time while i get ready i'm basically already ready i just have to do my hair and stuff because i know the story time plan took like a long time because like it's simple you know so yeah i'm getting ready for school i'm literally freaking late i don't know is it just me because like am i the only person that literally goes to school late every single day like, do you guys go to school late too or no? Because I think I have a problem, guys. Like, it's actually a problem. But what's it called? Anyway, sorry. I have to wipe my setting powder off because I literally look so pale in the camera. But so, yeah, guys. I'm doing a story time with how me and my boyfriend you met. Hopefully, later on, me and him could do, like, a story time together or something like that. Because, like, right now, you guys know, like, I don't post him on social media well like i do but like it's like a private but like public relationship like because like sometimes i post him sometimes like i cover his face i know there's a tiktok that i have that his face is not covered so like it's kind of like you know it's when i feel like it like when i feel like showing you guys him i show you guys him when i feel like not the right out you know okay guys before i go any farther into this video i want to tell you guys about my experience with temu and how it helps me Everybody loves how I decorate my room. You guys love my shelves. You guys love my pictures. You guys love like how it's just decorated my blankets, my pillow cup. Like you guys just love it. Did you guys know that I literally get half of my stuff from Temu? Like literally 50% or more of my room is from Temu. When I tell you guys, I literally shop off Temu all the time. That's literally my go-to app, like my number one app on my phone. If you guys really watch my channel and genuinely know me, you guys know that I love shopping. Like literally, that's the way I cope. That's the that's my therapy like i literally shop all the time every day like that's just me if you don't hear from me it's probably because i'm shopping off temu i literally shop off temu like once or twice a week the reason why i love shopping on temu is because it's so inexpensive and there's no minimum so your money goes straight to the manufacturing company not only is it inexpensive but it's super convenient because why would you go waste your money on a product at a local store when you could just get it off temu for cheaper which means with the same amount of money you could get more things come on guys think smarter not harder they have so many type of products they have kitchen supplies beauty supplies they have makeup brushes, they have clothes, they have bedding, they have room decorations. You can literally get a variety of things. For example, right now, as you guys see, I'm in a hotel room. I'm on my trip, and most of the stuff that I got for my trip was off of Temu. Like, just little necessities that I need was off of Temu, because why would I get it for more expensive somewhere else? You guys know me and my family love donating, so thanks to Temu, we can donate the twice amount of products for the same amount of money. If you haven't downloaded the app already, check the description down below and thank me later. Thank you, Temu, for sponsoring this video. Yeah, that's get into this video guys so me and my boyfriend met like i would say okay first of all we met in eighth grade when i first switched schools like that was the first ever time that me and him ever like interacted i would say where the heck is my concert that was the first time me and him ever like interacted like ever and it was like awkward because i guess he had told his friend that's actually my friend this friend was actually one of my shamanas he told him he was like hey like can you introduce me to analia and then my friend was like oh yeah like i got you because like you know he was my friend so then my friend was like hey like follow me after class like i want to i want to show you somebody and i was like okay and then he was like he introduced me to my boyfriend he was like hey this is what's his name and then he was like what's his name this is i'm and then i was like hi nice to meet you and then i walked into the class because i was like that was like awkward like what the heck so then yeah that's how that went but oh but what's crazy is before we got introduced me and him were like texting on instagram because one time i posted late at night i was this was eighth grade also one time i posted a meet up late at night at like three in the morning and he was like go to sleep and i was like no and then i was like why aren't you sleeping and then after that we just had like a whole conversation right and i would say we like just chatted like we weren't flirting or nothing but we just were texting for like a week or two because i know it was from like a couple weeks before christmas to christmas because i remember i texted him um merry christmas and then he texted me merry christmas and then on new year's he texted me happy new year's and i texted him happy new year's but like nothing happened like it was just that and i'm pretty sure after the new year's text we never text again because after that we headed back to school oh so this was during um spring, winter break so we were texting all winter break and then we went back to school and we never te like talked text looked at each other nothing again so then i like was like okay so i ended up getting in a relationship guys and the relationship that i got into was like with my ex he was kind of well my boyfriend claims that he was never friends with my ex but like 
From what I know, he was kind of like in a little friend group, but like wasn't really in a friend group, but like was. Like he was cool with them. Like they were acquaintances, you know, like if it's each other, they talk, you know, like that. So yeah, I ended up dating him. And then me and my boyfriend never like like talk associated again, right? So then it comes freshman year, I was talking to this other boy. That other boy was kind of like playing me. So then I guess I was like playing him too. But like we were still like flirting, but like we were playing each other. And while me and that other boy were like kind of like off and on, I guess you would say that like, we weren't dating, but like we weren't we weren't really talking either. We were kind of just. I don't know who we were, but yeah. So basically, while me and that other boy were like off and on, whoa, I heard that my boyfriend, like, because I like also have friends that are friends with my boyfriend, like, also that were back then. So then I heard that my boyfriend was like talking about me at soccer practice. And then, so then I was like, mm. So then I told one of his friends, the friend that introduced us in eighth grade, I was like, hey, like, what's his name was talking about me? And he said that I was cute. Like, is it true? And then I guess he had. I told my boyfriend so then my boyfriend had texted me he was on my boyfriend at the time like we were like strangers at this point he texted me and he was like hey like where'd you hear that and then i was like oh like so and so told me and he was like oh because it wasn't true and i was like okay like just break my heart like that like okay okay so i was like all right like that's all i needed to know you know like this whatever so later on i was uh, i was kind of like oh he's like cute you know and then i guess supposedly like he like thought i was cute too so like, we just like found each other attractive but like, there was nothing in between and um we were like kind of i don't know we weren't flirting but like we were like so that one friend that introduced us in eighth grade he was like going back and forth right of like what we said like and then my boyfriend was like saying like oh like i would mess with her but she's talking well not she's flirting with other guys so it is what it is and then like I would be like, oh, like, you know, like, I would mess with him. But, like, there's this one girl that was, like, obsessed with him, guys. Like, obsessed. And I was like, oh, I would mess with him. But, like, he's always walking with what's her name. And she's always talking about him. And then, right? So then we kind of just, like, brushed it off and, like, just stopped. Like, we didn't even try. Then comes summer. School ended. Then comes summer. This is freshman year summer. Or, like, going into sophomore year summer. I started snapping. And... I was like, cause I was like bored, you know? So I was like, okay, like I should just start snapping him. Like I'll see if he snap me back. But like, I remember before I started snapping him, like girl, I was stressed, girl. I was like, I was texting my friend. I was like, is he gonna snap me back? Is he not gonna snap me back? Like, does he even do snaps? Like what is going on? Like, you know, like I was so scared. Cause like, I thought like I was gonna freaking get yeah, rejected or something. So then um, she, he was like, no, like he does snap back. Like me and him have snap, I'm um, in streaks. Like it's all good, you know? And I was like, all right. So then after that, after we started snapping, we started conversations, right? And I started being a little flirty because I was like, why not? You know, like, why not take the freaking chance? And we're talking about how, cause he's a soccer player. And we're talking about his soccer games cause it was soccer season was coming up. And we were talking about his soccer games. And I was like, oh, like, let me know. Let me know when I can go to him. Like, I'm trying to read your number one support or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I was like, I was pushing it a little bit, just a little bit. And then he was like, I want to say he was flirting back, but like, you know, he was like, oh, like, you know, my names are this and this, like, I'll tell you. And I was like, okay. After that, we stopped talking because something had happened that, like, it wasn't in drama, but, like, I don't know, it was just a lot. So, like, we had stopped talking, right? I would say we stopped talking for, like, almost the whole summer because when we were texting, that was, like, the beginning of the summer, like, the very beginning, like, June. Then in August, we started snapping again somehow. And it was like the end of August, I remember it too, because I was in Mexico. And yeah, so we started snapping at the end of August. Then I don't think we were like flirting right away. We were just literally friends. Like whenever we started snapping, like I feel like we both had the intentions of like being just cool, like being, you know, cool with each other. So then after that, my friend, my best friend Chris, he's his friend too. So then we all decided like, oh, let's go to a hunted house together, right? Chris brought a girl so then it was just me and CZ right so it was basically kind of like a two man but it wasn't really a two man because like me and CZ didn't really talk like that because like, he's very very shy guys so like he was literally quiet like almost the whole entire time at the hunting house so I was like oh 
okay and like i didn't expect us to be anything so like my parents were there because they wanted to go to the haunted house too so like i didn't know that me and him were gonna be freaking dating so like that would mean that he already met my parents and stuff but um <clears throat> yeah my parents were there and it was just it was a fun night it's just that me and didn't really i mean that me and my boyfriend didn't really talk or nothing the next week we went to another haunted house because it was around october right we went to another haunted house, or it was like the very, very beginning of October because the first haunted house we went to was like September, what, like 30th, 30th or something like that? We went to the haunted house. So then comes like the beginning of October, we go to another haunted house. And then that haunted house, we were like holding hands and stuff, and we were like flirting and stuff. And then I was like, oh, okay. So then after that, like me, him, and my best friend had me like we were like, oh, we should go to Six Flags, and then and, and like everybody was down, right? And then my best friend had canceled, and it was like just me and him, and we ended up going to Six Flags, guys. And I feel like that kind of like helped like us like break our awkward stage because like we had no choice but to like not be awkward because we were literally freaking yeah like it's just us two at Six Flags. Plus my family, so it was me and him, plus my family at Six Flags. So it was kind of like, oh, you know, like, oh, and we weren't even dating yet. Or I don't even think we were talking yet, guys. So then we ended up going to Six Flags. It was actually a good night. That was the first time that uh, me and him hugged. And then at the haunted house before Six Flags was the first time me and him held hands. And then after that, like that night we went home, right? We FaceTime. And then I was, I was like, so like, what are we? Like, are we talking or are we like just friends? Like what? And he was like, um, he was like, well, I don't know. What do you want to be? And I was like, I don't know. Like, what do you want to be? You know? And then he was like, well, he was like, I think he asked me to talk. He was like, do you want to start talking? And I was like, yeah. And then he was like, okay. So then we started talking. And girl, let me tell you, we literally talked for like, what, four three months we talked for three months four months or something like that and then he asked me out in january january 20th and then yeah ever since then we've just been dating but that's how we met each other guys the first time we kissed was in december that was it was like on my like the day before my birthday it was december 3rd so imagine we didn't we didn't kiss until two months after we started talking guys we were freaking yeah I think it's because we were both like really shy. We were both like really scared to like make first moves and stuff. But I ended up making this first move because you know I'm just like that. That's pretty much it for the little story time guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn post notification bell. Comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. And actually I'm gonna show you guys what I look like when I'm done getting ready because you guys been here for a while. Okay guys, so this is the fit. It's just this hoodie with black leggings and then I'm wearing my black gloves. That's what I'm wearing today.